Hello everyone, it's Edward with Crypto University. Today we're going to be discussing composite bot settings. If you haven't reviewed our simple DCA bot settings, you need to do so now. This video isn't going to explain all the other things that are covered in the simple DCA bot settings, as a lot of them are the same. We're only going to discuss the differences between simple DCA bot and composite bot settings in this video. So the first thing you need to take note of whenever you're going to make a composite bot is right here where it says bot type instead of simple select composite after this you'll need to select which pairs you want to include so in a simple DCA bot you can only include one bot pair in a composite bot you can include multiple bot pairs so go ahead and choose which ones you want the bot to trade and include them here you can put as many as you want be careful to map out these pairs it is important to plan for deviation for each one of them in some of our earlier video lessons we discussed deviation if you don't grasp it yet make sure you go back and review that before you go any further to plan for proper deviation okay so moving forward the first difference between composite and simple bots is you can put as many pairs as you want scan multiple pairs at once now the next difference you will find in strategy it should populate with one max active deal and you can actually change that to as many as you like so if we have three max active deals that means the bot will open three deals at one time where a simple bot will only open one deal at a time so this is the main difference here between simple bot and composite bot so the strategy you're still gonna have to choose profit currency all that's gonna be the same your take profit target is going to be dependent upon you safety orders etc etc that's all based upon how you want to program the bot so then the next setting that's different is going to be simultaneous deals per same pair you'll notice that now so by changing this you'll actually change the amount of deals that the bot can open in any given pair for example if we were to start a deal in Litecoin Bitcoin the bot would only open one deal in that pair if you set this to two and the bot opened a deal in Litecoin Bitcoin, then it saw another opportunity to start a new deal within that same pair, it would. And it would start up to two deals in the same pair. So if you have this set to three, it will start three deals within the same pair. So those are the differences between simple DCA bot and composite bot setting. Simultaneous deals per same pair setting. max active deals setting and how many pairs you can actually put in you can put as many as you want uh, the only thing to note about this touching back on it is that they, they have to all be the same so you can't run a USDT pair if you have most of them set to BTC if you clear all these out then you can select USDT pairs and your drop down will be in USDT so it's not only restricted to Bitcoin pairs you can also select USDT pairs you can select Ethereum pairs you can select BNB pairs you can really select as many pairs as you want and those are the main differences between simple and composite bots thank you guys get ready for the next one